What's going on guys, Super Insane 18 here and with the release of Darkwing Blast, we now have Sprite Sprint, which opens up some incredible plays for the Sprite deck, so we're bringing you five more must-know Sprite combos. Alright, so we're going to start things off with the one card starter combo. This is what I showcased at the end of my deck profile the other day, but for any of you that might not have seen that or if you just want a refresher, that's the one we're going to start with, so let me show you guys what you can do off of just a single Sprite starter. So we're going to activate the effect of Sprite Starter and use it to summon out our copy of Sprite Blue from the deck. And then this will activate our Sprite Blue to be able to search a copy of Sprite Jet. Here we're going to special summon out the Sprite Jet and activate its effect. Now here you have a choice. You can go for either the Double Cross or the Smashers. It really just depends on what your hand is, what you're more afraid of. Honestly, uh, if you watch the deck profile, I made the mistake of saying that this card wasn't that good, but like a typical Yu-Gi-Oh player, I didn't read the uh, entire effect correctly, so I'm going to go for the Sprite Double Cross to show you guys the absolute power that it can bring. So now we have two on field with the Double Cross in hand. We're going to go ahead and link the blue and the jet into our copy of Sprite Sprint and activate its effect on summon which will allow us to send a copy of Nimble Angler to the graveyard. Nimble Angler will then be able to activate summoning out two copies of Nimble Beaver from our deck and now we're in a really good position. We can take the Sprite Sprint and the Nimble Beaver. We can go ahead and overlay them into our copy of Gigantic Sprite and then we can activate our Gigantic Sprite effect to go ahead and summon out our Swap Frog from the deck. Now the Swap Frog on Summon will send another copy of Swap Frog, and now we're set up to do the full board because without Ronin Toten, we had some trouble putting up an additional body because we can't use the Swap Frog anymore to make the Elf, otherwise we won't be able to get two Aquas on field. So since we have the extra body thanks to Sprint, we can take the Gigantic Sprite and the Beaver that we have, and we can go ahead and link those into our copy of Elf and activate our Elf effect to reborn the Swap Frog from our graveyard and overlay both of these into a copy of Totally Awesome. Now we can set the Sprite Double Cross and end our turn. And now this is actually a really, uh, really incredible end board because this doesn't give us Double Toad like it used to. This gives us Triple Toad because the Double Cross can target our own Totally Awesome in our graveyard and reborn it to a zone that a Link Monster points to. So when we use the Toad the first time, we can bring it back with the Elf. And then if we use the Toad again, we can go ahead and bring it back with the Sprite Double Cross. But not just that, this also lets you play around blowout cards like Call by the Grave because if you tribute the Toad for cost and they attempt to call by the grave it you can just use double cross to reborn it and dodge the call by the grave so that is the first combo one card ending you on triple toad negate so you still have four cards in hand hopefully they're hand traps or other good cards let's go ahead and show you guys the next one combo number two is again another one card combo but this time we are going to be using just the nimble beaver and that will get us almost the same board as the first combo but it doesn't actually use any sprite names from the main deck so we're going to go ahead and normal summon the beaver and here we're going to actually special summon out a copy of Nimble Angler using the Nimble Beaver effect. Now, in order to do this, you do have to play at least two Nimble Angler, but if you watch my deck profile, you'll know that there's a lot of debate on the correct ratio. For this particular combo, you're going to want to play two Angler and three Beaver, but now that we have two level twos on the board, we can go ahead and link them off into our copy of Sprite Sprint, and we're just going to kind of rush through this because we've already seen it. So using the Sprite Sprint, we're going to send another copy of Nimble Angler, which will then activate summoning out two copies of our Nimble Beaver. We can take the Sprint and the Beaver and over lay them into a gigantic sprite activating the gigantic sprite to go ahead and summon our swap frog swap frog on summon will send another copy of swap frog to the graveyard we can then take the gigantic sprite and the nimble beaver and go into a copy of elf elf will reborn the swap frog from our graveyard and then we can go ahead and overlay them into another copy of totally awesome that ends us on two toad negates it's not quite three because we weren't able to search the double cross but still definitely a combo that you guys need to know now, combo number three is going to be a way to Ibli lock your opponent with multiple interruptions on top of said Ibli lock. So let's go ahead and show you guys how we're going to do it. We're going to start off with one card being Sprite Starter. We're going to use the Sprite Starter to summon out our copy of Blue, and then Blue will activate to search our copy of Jet. We can special summon our Jet and use it again to search either the Double Cross or the Smashers. Again, it's really personal preference. Either of these are going to be able to get rid of your opponent's normal summon, preventing them from linking 
keeping the Ibley off. So it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and show you with the double cross because I owe this card an apology. So we're gonna go ahead and hold the double cross in our hand and using both the blue and the jet, we're gonna go ahead and go into our copy of Sprite Sprint. As always, Sprite Sprint is going to send our copy of Nimble Angler to the graveyard, which will then allow us to summon out double copies of Nimble Beaver. Here we're going to take the Sprite Sprint and the Nimble Beaver, and we're going to go ahead and... Positioning is a little important here, um, but we're going to go ahead and make the uh, Gigantic in a zone that is not pointed to by your Elf. That's important for the reason you're about to see. We're going to take the Sprite Elf, or Sprite Gig Gigantic Sprite, my bad, and we're going to detach specifically the Sprite Sprint here. Now that's important as well. Uh, but that's going to allow us to summon out a copy of Ibli the or Nightmare Corruptor Ibli from our deck. Now, for those of you that don't know, if you link this card away, it summons to your opponent's side of the field and locks them out of special summoning except for links. Most decks don't have a way to out this other than making a link two, so they do have to commit a normal summon, which is really strong. So we're going to go ahead and take the Ibli and the Beaver, and this is going to go ahead and link into our copy of Sprite Elf. Now here the Ibli is going to activate and we can go ahead and give that to our opponent. So let's just pretend that this Ibli is on our opponent's side of the field. Uh, it's just in frame so that you can see it. But now we can take the Sprite Elf and we can go ahead and reborn our Sprite Sprint because our opponent controls a monster. So we are able to reborn links and XYZs as well. Um, and then we can go ahead and set our double cross and this gives us some really good interaction. So if they normal summon anything to try and link away, we can go ahead and use the double cross to steal their normal summon either by putting it under our gigantic sprite or summoning it to the elf zone doesn't really matter. Um, then their only option is to go ahead and crash the nightmare corruptor Ibli into something so that they can play in main phase two. But even then we still have an interruption in sprite sprint because when they special summon, we'll be able to detach from the gigantic sprite to go ahead and return the special summoned card. So that's just kind of a cool way to lock your opponent out uh, using one card being starter. Combo number four is going to be another Ibli lock, but with a little bit of flair, and I think this is actually really cool. So let me show you guys what we're going to go ahead and do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with Nimble Beaver and Sprite Blue. So it is a two card combo, uh, but we're going to go ahead and normal our Nimble Beaver and use its effect to summon out our copy of Nimble Angler. We can take both the Beaver and the Angler, and this will let us summon our copy of Sprind. Same as every other combo, Sprind is going to send the copy of Nimble Angler from the deck to the graveyard, and this will summon out two copies of Nimble Beaver. Here we're going to take the Sprind and the Beaver, again probably putting it in a zone that the Elf doesn't point to, uh, and make our gigantic sprite. We're going to use the gigantic sprite effect here. We're going to detach again specifically the Sprind. This is going to summon out our copy of Ibli. Now we can take the Ibli and the Beaver, and this will make our copy of Sprite Elf. The Ibli will activate again going to our opponent's side of the field, and because our opponent controls a monster, we can use the Sprite Elf to reborn our copy of Sprite Sprint. So now our opponent is locked out, we can go ahead and special summon out our copy of Sprite Blue. This will search us our copy of Sprite Jet, and then we can special summon out our Sprite Jet, which will again search us either the Double Cross or the Smashers. This is mostly to get rid of your opponent's normal summon, but we're going to go ahead and just show it with the Double Cross again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Jet and the Blue, and we're going to go ahead and link those into a copy of IP Mascarena, and this sets up the option to Ibli lock our opponent twice. And let me explain why. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get rid of our opponent's normal summon, obviously, like I said. Um, and that's going to force them to crash the Ibli. So they're going to put the Ibli to attack. They're going to swing into whatever's going to take the least or whatever's going to take the least amount of damage, probably the IP. Ibli goes to our graveyard. Now, when our opponent attempts to play in main phase two, we use the effect of Elf reborning out our Ibli, and then we can chain the IP Mascarina. Hopefully they have a monster on field at this point, but we're going to use the IP Mascarina and the Ibli. And this is going to go ahead and summon out our copy of Nightmare Unicorn. Now, the reason I said hopefully they have a monster at this point now is because we can use Unicorn discarding any of the other three cards that we had in our hand as cost, and Ibli as Chain Link 2, or however you want to chain, it doesn't really matter. Giving them back the Ibli, locking them again, getting rid of their monster, still having a... Uh, bounce with the sprite sprint if they were able to special summon something before you lock them again but now they're locked out of idly twice in one turn and they've already used their battle phase so they have no viable way of outing it 
All right, and for our fifth and final combo, it is going to be another two card combo and it is interchangeable. It can be any level two. So we're using the worst level two to open in our deck just to show you guys that it could be anything, Nibble Angler, and either Sprite Blue or Sprite Starter. So that's six cards uh, that this can potentially be. Let me show you guys what it's going to do. We're gonna go ahead and start by normal summoning out our any level two. Again, does not matter. This is just so that we can go ahead and special summon out our Sprite Blue. Sprite Blue will activate its effect, searching us our copy of Sprite Jet, which we can then special summon activate its effect as well to add either the double cross or the smashers we're going to go ahead and add the double cross again um, and now what we can do is we can go ahead and make gigantic but what we have to keep in mind is that we need to leave one of the two darks on the field now the reason that's important is for a card that we will be summoning later in the combo so we're going to take the angler and the blue go ahead and overlay into the gigantic sprite and activate the gigantic sprite effect to go ahead and summon out our copy of cap shell now cap shell is really cool because it lets you get some additional resources so we're going to take the cap shell and the gigantic and we're going to go ahead and link both of these off into a copy of sprint and now what we can do is we can chain block our sprint and also draw a card so we'll chain link one sprint chain link to cap shell cap shell is going to draw us a irrelevant card uh, hopefully it is something good um, but then the sprint will go ahead and send the angler which as always the angler is going to go ahead and summon out two copies of nimble beaver now what we can do is we can take both of our Nimble Beaver. Again, it's very important that we leave the Sprite Jet on the field. Uh, it doesn't have to be the Jet, it could be the Blue just as long as it is a Dark Monster. But we're going to go ahead and go into our Sprite Elf. Now, Sprite Elf here is going to be able to reborn our Cap Shell. And now that we have two Darks on the field, we can go ahead and overlay both of these into our copy of... Gin Buster. Now, Gin Buster is really cool because you detach two to negate a monster effect. And when you use that effect, what you're going to do is you're going to detach the Cap Shell, which Cap Shell will then draw you an additional card. So now we have our Sprite Double Cross. We drew two cards off of our Cap Shell. We have an Interrupt with the Sprint and an Interrupt with the Double Cross. Granted, here the Double Cross is going to have to attach something to the Gin Buster first before you can use your Sprint, but it is still a very good combo. So there you go guys have it. And there you guys have it. That is five more must-know sprite combos from post Darkwing Blast. Sprint is an incredible card if you are playing that nimble package. And as you saw, there are quite a few unique things that you can do with it. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you did, you know the deal. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, share with your friends, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.